how long were you preparing for this course? I actually started in May and I scheduled my exam for July 31st. I would finish with the labs maybe a couple of days before the examination. So it was May to June, June to July, maybe mid-July, I finished with the 60 days of labs and by the end of the July, I took the exam. Right, okay. So yeah, it was like 60 days. But before that, I used to do boxes on Hack the Box and Bone Hub. That was like for a year before, but I never thought of actually doing the OICP until maybe one or two months uh, before paying for it. So I never thought of doing the OSCP until 2019, maybe March. And then in May, I just got the labs. Okay, cool. Okay, so 60 days of labs and then you went straight for it and, and you were successful, obviously. That's awesome. Um, okay, so next question is, what certifications uh, do you currently hold? Or rather, what, did you, what certifications did you have before doing the OSCP? Well, I don't have any other certification than the OSCP, so I, have, I've only, I only have this one. And for the moment, I'm not actually looking forward to getting any certification in the near future. But when I do decide to start on certifications again, I'm probably going to be looking for something from eLearn Security, I guess. So eLearn Security and also probably if the OSCP starts upping their game, such as they did with the... Uh, the OSCP in February, if they have updated materials on other certifications, I might be doing other certifications from offensive security. And if I get an employer who's willing to pay for, I don't know, uh, something from uh, SANS, uh, or yeah. uh, what was the other one that was super expensive? Uh, G, all of them. <laughs> GIAC or something. Uh, oh, GIAC certified, yeah, those ones are very expensive. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'm going to pay in this situation for those. If I would have the money in the future, uh, maybe I would be paying for them. Okay. So I guess then what sort of organizations would you be applying for? This isn't one of the questions on the list. It's just something I'm, I'm curious about. What sort of yeah, organizations would you be applying for? Would it be like a um, specific pen testing company? Or would you be looking more for, I don't know, something in a, an organization type setting? If you want to gain an edge over other cybersecurity professionals, take my Python for Pentesters course and uh, learn how to leverage the power of Python in penetration testing and cybersecurity. Link in the description. Well, I currently, I currently work with a company that uh, does pen testing. So we get mostly penetration testing projects, but if I want to up my game, so when it comes to upping my game, I would probably be working for a larger company of the same kind. I wouldn't be working for governmental agencies at this point. I don't know, it just uh, doesn't attract me. But yeah, I guess it would be a larger private company with a fairly defined organizational structure. I think that's a fairly common thing as well for uh, offensive security professionals like yourself to not really want to go to uh, government organizations or agencies um, just because, it, yeah, I can understand they exactly might have, why. They might have some sort of limitations in terms of what you can do in your... They definitely have limitations, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. I'm not willing to go into that right now. Maybe yep. at some point in the future, I don't know, but just not right now. I'm willing to work as a penetration tester or a cybersecurity analyst or even get into blue team stuff at some point in time for private companies, which actually um, seem like more attractive to me right now. 